everybody, welcome back to the Blonde Psychic Tarot. My name is Donna, I am here to do your next tarot message. Thank you for being on this journey with me, I really appreciate all of you, your love and support. If you haven't liked the channel so far or subscribed, please do so, um, I would really appreciate it. Um, now today we are looking at a video about um, your life beyond healing, so this is kind of the stage I'm at, okay? I've got rid of all the negative and the things that aren't working anymore in my life. Um, and now I'm totally healed. I'm good at, I'm really, really good at, I'm like a master healer now. I'm good at healing and facing my demons and healing and cutting out what no longer serves me in my life. So kind of an experienced healer now because I've gone through so much trauma in my own personal life. So I'm now I'm at this point, I'm at kind of a, a crossroads I'm like yes okay I'm good I'm healed I'm ready I'm ready for my next chapter but what is next so this is what today's video is about it's like you've healed you've done all the work you're amazing you're blessed you're fulfilled within your own life you're whole as a person alone you're good everything's great you're at your nine of cups level okay independent beautiful blessed life nothing's really wrong with it um, you're living day to day and it's great. You're making plans for the future. You're very career driven. If love comes along, great. If not, you're not really bothered because you love yourself so much. This is the stage I'm at. So I hope you're at the stage as well and are ready to see um, and move on to what your next chapter what your next chapter is going to bring in for you. Okay, so. That's just a little spiel about what this video is about. I'm very excited to make it to see what's going on next in your next chapter. Um, Timestamps will be below. So let's jump into the first group. Group one, welcome to your reading about what's next, life after healing. What's next for you in your journey? Let's have a look. Okay, group one, what is next? Life after healing. Beautiful energy. Sorry guys, I just moved the angle around because I wanted a better angle. Let's continue. Group one, life after healing. What is next? What is next for group one? Okay, group one, what is next? Life after healing. We've got two there. What do we got? Beautiful. And let's get one more. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bottom of the deck. Six of Swords. Your next chapter after your healing has taken place is all about winning. Your next chapter is going to be so successful. You're about to walk into it. It is very close. And it is nothing but successful living. You are going to be manifesting your dreams, making your dreams happen. Whatever you're wishing for is going to be coming true. And you're going to be living your best life. It is going to be an amazing chapter and time in your life. Well done you. So we open up with the nine of spears. Nine of, nine of um, wands for you that don't know this. This is a Game of Thrones tarot deck. deck. Love this deck. Haven't used it in a while, so thought I'd use it. This is the nine of, ac nine of it's the nine of actions as well in other decks. Wow, nine of wands, nine of spears. Okay, you are being very defensive. Okay, you have built up um, your world so far. You have done a lot of healing. You have um, left those behind that have no longer serve you. Okay, but that is you there defending. Your honour, defending the place where you're at now, your happiness, your peace um, in your life, within your life. And this is the wall, you, wall you've built up, the wall of boundaries you've built up around your own beings as to not let anyone come in and penetrate your peaceful life. Your guards are up now. You won't let anyone else fuck with your um, future happiness and the life you want to create and the life um, you want to live. And... You are, you know, the spirits here acknowledging the hard work that you've done and the healing work that you've done and taking place within your own life. And now they're just applauding you for saying, yes, keep going. You're on the right path. Good on you for putting your boundaries in place and cutting those out that no longer serve you and 
just taking control of your life and not let anything bring you down back to the sad level or of your past. It is shown how powerful you are. You got the Empress. You are a force to be reckoned with at this time in your life. If you're a masculine watching this um, video, just know that your female masculine, sorry, your feminine energy is shining through at the moment. She is your feminine energy. I'm going to refer as to she. She is shining through in your life. She is pulling you through tough situations. She is taking you away from tough situations. She has taken control of your life. I think it's she's very nurturing, very strong, very strong-willed and determined, kind of like a mother trying to get the best for their child. I just got a vision of a mother trying to um, enroll their child in the best school and fighting the other herd of mothers, mothers to get them in. So kind of like this energy, you're taking control, you're not letting anyone else um, mess with your future happiness and you're in a good place. With the Empress energy. Such a positive reading group one. Knight of Spears, you are taking in control. You are at the head of your um, ship. You are directing your ship in the right directions and you're going full steam of head with the Knight of Spears. You are in control. You are, you are one to um, take your ship and you want to be at the helm of the ship and guide it in the right direction. You're galloping in the direction of your uh, bright, happy future and you have taken control of your life and you're doing it fast. You're just going in the right direction. Spirit is acknowledging you're in the right place where you need to be in your life. You've taken control, done all the work you needed to do. I'm not going to keep repeating the stuff that you've got rid of because you've already done it and you know what you've gotten rid of and you know what you've overcome and the triumph and the triumphs that you've um, celebrated. So maybe even take the time to sell it, stand back, celebrate the work you have done, celebrate the successes um, you've had so far, especially with the six of spears. You have done the hard work. You have got rid of it. That was all you. You did that on your own. You healed yourself, okay? You have manifested, and look what's under there, the priestess. Manifested this. Done the work yourself. Listen to your own inner intuition about what you want and need and where you're going in life and where you're going is in the right direction i feel like your life has had a complete tower moment the tower has fallen down maybe if you were not strong enough to remove those people or situations within your own life that weren't serving you anymore that weren't going to your next chap onto your next chapter with you that weren't serving you for your highest purpose and um good the universe stepped in and intervened. Maybe it gave you the strength to cut these people out or say enough's enough, no more. These are my boundaries. You can't deal with them. See you later. Whatever happened, you got strong and you took the tower moment within your own hands and you cleared these people out of your life. I feel like some of you, the tower acted like some gu a guiding force for you. Maybe you said, saw... An example of someone else that was living their best life or um, sought advice from a trusted advisor and you know said I can't do this anymore I can't live the way I'm living anymore I can't do it I'm not happy I'm not being true to my um, inner self my for my highest purpose and my highest good I am not doing this anymore maybe it was your own self who even gave you the counsel it was your own soul telling you what to do whatever it was you, you were advised by somebody or you even advised yourself and you took control of your life. You made manifested the tower moment and your life has done a complete turnaround for the better. Wow, interesting story, group one. Such strong people though. For some of you, you are manifesting new love and it is in its infancy stage. Page of Cups, I call the pages my infancy cards. So new love will come in. It will be a slower process than you'd like. But just know it is there. It is awakening. This new love is coming. Um, it's just a bit slower than, you know, bam, straight away. You've still got some work to do. Maybe it, even if it is some more healing work or some work on your own being or goals, whatever it is, you've still got a lot of work. It is there. Maybe you've just met this person, but it's just begun. It's very, very new, okay? Very, very new because it's a page. It's infancy and cups are emotions, love. New love is coming. The fish, see that fish jumping out of that cup? New love, 
offer will be presented to you, but it will take some time. It won't be straight away. It will um, take some time regarding the actual asking. Maybe you're dating or courting this person when you just met them. You're going to date and really get to know them before you jump in and make it serious and offer that cup of love, okay? Oh, such some positive cards, group number one. Such positive cards. Let's continue your story with your oracle cards. But I think you are in a very, very good place at the moment. Oh, wow. Here's me saying it's going to take a long time. But look what it's going to lead to. Commitment, happiness, joy, happily ever after. You're going to get engaged and married. For some of you that have no desire to get engaged and married, know that this is where this person's intentions want to take you. Know it's going to be a long-term commitment. Maybe your twin flame soulmate forever. Just know this is their intentions of when they come in and they're serious about you and they want a long-term commitment with you. Very positive, group number one. Yes. Feminine energy is all over this reading. Again, if you're masculine, your feminine energy has helped you, has leveled you up, has really nurtured you when you were unsure about yourself and has really pulled you through this time in your life. Acknowledging a lady coming into your life. Maybe you even had help from a lady to um, level you up or get rid of those things that were no longer serving you. Someone has helped heal you, heal you in a sense. It could be the same for the females watching this as well. A lady has come in and helped you, but I think a lot of you are strong enough and you're at the point in your life where you've helped yourself and you want to move on to your next chapter and you've actually helped yourself to do so. The trauma that you've endured during your life has taught you to depend on yourself and has taught you to heal yourself and, you know, just want better for yourself. So you only rely on yourself and um, this is what you've done. Healed yourself and moved mountains to do so. Wow, mountain. You have triumphed. You have scaled that mountain. You are no longer down here in the pit of despair. You have climbed that mountain. You are at the top of that mountain, waving your arms, jumping for joy, planting the flag, climbing that mountain, succeeding, ready to move on to your next chapter in life. How amazing, group one. This is such a positive read. It took you a lot of trauma, okay? You went through a lot. You learned a lot from the experience you have been through in your path, past. You are now on the right path. You have healed yourself. You have learned a lot. You're a different person to the person you were maybe months or years ago. But you have grown so much spiritually, physically and mentally that you will no longer let anyone fuck with your happiness and your future. And you have come through, um, learned so much and come out the other end um, a better, wiser, stronger version of your former self. What a beautiful energy. Even though some of you went through hell and um, had to go through hell to experience that tr to, and experience that trauma in order to change your character, it happened for, yeah, as I say that, yes, it's acknowledging the hard times you went through, the deceit, the lies, the cheating, the unfairness within your life you had to go through to endure um, this pain in order to push you to change your character and um, change who you are as a person in order to grow. Wow, what a story. You've been through some stuff, haven't you, group one? What a story. Let's get your small oracle cards. This is Sacred Destiny. Let's see. What else is next? If we can uncover some more next to your story. Stand still. Take a breather. As I said, take a step back. Enjoy your life and celebrate the accomplish accomplishments you've overcome already, okay? You have been through so much. You have been through so many hardships and um, you've been through a nightmare, some of you. But now you're in a place of peace, serenity, tranquility, and you're ready for your next chapter. So just enjoy the present, stand still, enjoy, celebrate the success and how far you've come so far and enjoy your life, okay? And the accomplishments that you've achieved. Group one, healing, 
What's next after their healing? Stillness. You're being told to be still quite a lot. You got standstill and stillness. Are you guys um, true up in your head and doing too much within your everyday life to try and manifest your future tomorrow? It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight, okay? You're being called to stand still, be patient, keep manifesting, keep putting the hard work in, keep going on the path you're on because you're on the right path, but it's going to take time. Your future life is going to take time. As I said, with the, with the love that's coming in, um, you're very impatient for it. You want it to happen like tomorrow. It's not going to happen that fast. You still need to enjoy your present. You need to enjoy being alone. You need to enjoy the life that you've created and the place you're in right now. Because for some of you, you're not going to be single for very long. And you'll be wishing you were single. And you'll be wishing you had enjoyed time on your own and adventures on your own. And meditating alone in the quiet or whatever it is you enjoy to do. You're going to be swept up in a romance soon. So Spirit's really telling you, enjoy the stillness, be still, appreciate where you are, appreciate the work that you've done and enjoy the present moment, okay? Stop living in the future so much and planning for the future. You've come a long way and you're reaping the rewards of the hard work and the place you're in right now. Leadership. This is acknowledging the control you've taken over your life and um, how hard it was to actually step up and be the person who had to cut people out and hurt people's feelings and cut out situations that no longer served them. Um, it did make you feel bad, some of you, and it was a very hard thing to do, but it was very draining on your soul and it needed to be done because you were living a lie. You were whatever was... Whatever cycle you were in, uh, whether it be a relationship or a situation, it wasn't your truth. It wasn't your honest path. You were lying to yourself in order to keep somebody happy because you didn't want to hurt someone else's feelings, okay? Because I don't think you're naturally um, like that. You don't like be, to be responsible for other people's pain. But you had to hurt people in order to close the chapter of your past and to be able to move on to your next chapter in your life so you took charge of your life and your situation and you just um rolled with it cut those people and situations out didn't look back and you are charging on into your next chapter in life what is this that just flipped out miracles look double rainbow beautiful card acknowledging your hard work acknowledging the tough work you've done and expect good things to come you have done the work, um, good things are coming, you're being rewarded for the hard work that you've done and for putting yourself first and listening to your intuition, okay? You are being led by spirit here. You, um, Your path that you're on, you have been called to by spirit to create and manifest. Oh, you've got two. I didn't even realize you had two. Wow, I didn't even know that. Two fell out. That's bizarre. I swear to God only one fell out. There's two there. So a miracle is coming in and it is indicated with double rainbows, okay? Courage is reversed because, as I said, naturally you're not a creature of hurting people and you you like to appease people, you like to help people. Maybe some of you are empaths or very spiritual and it's not our nature to want to hurt people's feelings, okay? So it took a lot of courage and at times you your courage was not there. Your strength wasn't there. You just stayed in the cycle that was making you miserable and um, you kept repeating it and it wasn't making you miserable. You weren't happy. You weren't living your true life, okay? So Spirit is acknowledging the hard work you've done. They're saying, congratulations, well done you for taking control of your life. We acknowledge how hard it was and how much it hurt you, but you're on the right path now. You're, you're on your way to your true purpose, your true calling in life. And miracles are going to take place within your next chapter. What a beautiful energy. This is, I'm really enjoying this reading group one. I'm really enjoying it. Let's get you some more oracle cards. I'm loving this reading. It's making me smile ear to ear. Very similar to the path that I'm on. Very similar. Tick tock, yes. Some of you are very, very impatient. You want your happiness. You want your miracles. You want your next chapter to happen like tomorrow. You want it to happen. You're manifesting it to happen. You want it to come in. 
You're trying to manifest hard every day in every possible way you can, okay? You're exhausting yourself. This is why stand still and still came out so strong. You need to pause. Pause time. Enjoy the present moment. Enjoy the success you're currently in. Enjoy doing things alone. Enjoy doing things that um, you're passionate about. You're not in living in the present moment and you're not um, enjoying the success that you've achieved so far. You're being called to be alone. Be still. Do the things you want to do in life. Achieve all the things you want to achieve alone. Set up your life so if love is your ultimate goal, set up your life so you can have a life with someone new and you've accomplished all the things you want to accomplish alone, independently, before they come in so you don't have to rely on anyone and you don't caught, get caught up in a um, an attachment style relationship where you have to depend on someone for your happiness. Make sure you're whole and pure and healed before you bring someone else in, okay? Spirit is saying live in the now, enjoy the moment and stop trying to rush your future because it is coming, it is a big change, miracles are on their way but it's still going to take a bit of time, okay? Go the distance. They're telling you you can go the distance and you will go the distance and you will win. You're about to cross the finish line. It is about to come in. It is there. It is manifesting in the 5D to come into your 3D. Your life is about to transform. You've just got to do a few more little things before you reach that finish line. But look how close it is. Look how close your next chapter is. You're about to cross it, so enjoy the um, now. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Enjoy being alone. Enjoy the times where you are alone. Because when you get your next chapter and your next um, adventure in life, I feel like a lot of you are going to look back in time and say, God, I wish I'd spent more time enjoying the serenity. God, I, I wish I'd spent more time being alone and happy. This is the energy you're going to be caught up in. So spirit is really urging you to take your time, be alone, stand still, enjoy the time you're in now, um, but your future is going to be amazing and it's really close. It's like just around the corner. Yes, you're not being peaceful. It's making you very anxious, not knowing, okay? So th hopefully this video can give you a little bit of clarity and some answers, okay? Your peace is upside down. You're waiting for that egg to hatch. You want it to hatch like now. As I said, you've really got to ground your energy, bring your energy back to the present moment and learn to live in the present moment in the here and now. Time to go. You're just wanting to run into your next chapter. You're just wanting it to come. Look, look how close she is to the door. So it's funny, you got time to go. Look how close she is to the door to her next chapter and you got to go the distance. Look in both of these cards, how close your next chapter is, how close your destiny is. It is just within an ounce. What do they say? Just around the corner, just within an inkling. It is just there. That door is just there. That flag is just there. It is about to happen. So enjoy your present. Enjoy the now. Enjoy the time that you're living in right now. Spirit has control of your future and of your life and where it's going, really being called to enjoy the now. Loyal heart, look. Love is at the end of the road for a lot of you. Soulmate, twin flame connection, your divine counterpart. They are coming. They are just around the corner. But as I said, enjoy the now. Enjoy your singleness. Enjoy adventures on your own because once you meet this person, your life's going to transform and you're going to want to be with them every waking moment that you have. They're going to consume your thoughts. This is going to be an ultimate love match and a relationship that's coming in for you. And it's going to be everything that you've dreamed and desired within a connection. Wow. Group one, let's get some things that you're manifesting. What else can we tell group one about what they're manifesting? What's life after healing bringing them? Honour. Wow. A lot of you are getting honoured and, and acknowledged for, I think it's even just spirit acknowledging you for your hard work that you've done. It took a lot of courage and honour to break free from this past person and this cycle you were in and to acknowledge your own feelings and live your truth. 
And spirit is honouring you for taking the leadership skills in order to do that because it took a lot of courage. Taking a leap of faith, just like the full card, you took a leap of faith, you cut off that that was no longer serving you because you wanted a new chapter, you wanted a new start in life, you wanted a new beginning and you took that leap of faith for yourself, you took control of your destiny and make, made your next chapter happen. This is why you're being honoured by spirit because they are very proud of you and then they are going to reward you with something amazing. What else is group one? Manifesting. What is next for them after their healing journey? Taking a step forward. So again, moving on to your next chapter. It is just around the corner. This is the third time you've been told. So if you're still anxious and um, not sure about where your life's heading and what's happening next, no, it is just around the corner. You will be taking a step forward. They're telling you to look to the bigger picture. So live in the present. Start planning for your future. As I said, if love is your goal, Start planning for the person that's coming in. So um, make a place in your room for them. Make a place in your bathroom to put their toothbrush. Plan for the future life you want to have. Slowly though, enjoy your present. Don't get caught up in the future too much. But see the bigger picture and really plan for the future life you want to have. Starting new. This is what you wanted. You wanted a fresh start. You wanted a fresh start in life. And for some of you, you wanted a fresh start in love as well. Celebration, change, success, love is coming. Wow. Group one, this is such a good reading. So happy for you guys. I've done so many hard and dark readings lately and this is just amazing to get some light and fun energy because oh, it's just so good. You've done the hard work. It is there. You are in a place of such... You're in such a good place right now. All right, I'm going to stop there because these are just amazing. Yes, again, acknowledging, taking control of your life, draining out the noise and taking that leap forward and cutting out that that no longer served you. Living in a place where you're just at peace and you're just enjoying the serenity and you're just enjoying where you are in the now. But your abundance is coming. Your window to abundance is open already. And it's going to come trickling in sooner rather than later. But you still are being called to not live too much in the future. Don't let your peace be disturbed by the unknowingness. So when you're alone and you're getting very anxious about where your life is headed, just don't get too caught up in the not knowing, okay? And the not knowing of where it's going because it is going somewhere amazing. I think I've already explained to you where it's going. Just don't get too caught up in it, okay? Always bring your energy back to the present moment and ground it. Let's get you some life cards to say, see how your life's going to transform in the future. A new beginning. You manifested this. You made it happen. This is all you. What else can we tell group one? Soulmate. See, you're doubting yourself. You doubt it's going to happen. You keep saying, no, it's not going to happen. You're impatient. Stop the negativity, okay? You're stopping it from happening from the negativity. Soulmate is coming in. I think you've got it in numerous cards now. Soulmate is coming in. Stop doubting. Some of you need to pull your love in and energy and time into a new pet so you can actually um, have something in your life that you can take care of and pour your energy into and start learning to love. And start practicing a love relationship, even though it's going to be with a pet. If you can't get a pet because you live in um, a house or an apartment or wherever you live and they won't allow pets, get a plant. You have to nurture and love and care for a plant. You guys are being called. I said you're being called to do a bit more work before your next chapter comes in. And maybe it is learning to love someone else because you've got no one to love at the present moment. So you've got to learn how to love and take care of another before your soulmate will come in, okay? That could just be a message for some some people, not everybody. All right, final. Oh, finishing your message with um, a door to spirit or divine door, sorry. You got this beautiful, um, I think it's a cathedral door or a door in Rome. Very beautiful door and it flipped out. Oh, Jude's song. 
A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. Jude's song is actually a song by the, oh, I think it's by the Beatles. I'm not sure. I can't be 100% sure. Go on YouTube and listen to the lyrics of Jude's song, okay? Listen to the lyrics. They will lead you. They will guide you. They will help heal you, especially in those times of, ang of feeling anxious um, about when your next chapter is coming, okay? Jude's song. Listen to the lyrics. Group one, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Okay, group one, I actually have to not finish your reading there because you just got Jude's song. Jude's song actually is an, a song title. It's Hey Jude by the Beatles. So some of this, this song applies to some of you. But there's also a song that I was getting lyrics as soon as I finished your reading and I had to pause it and go find out what it was because I couldn't remember. Because I kept hearing the chorus. How wonderful life is when you're in the world. Or now when you're in the world, okay? That was continually playing in my head um, when I finished your reading. So group one... That, is, that song is called Your Song by Elton John. So go and listen to the lyrics of Your Song by Elton John. And it applies greatly to the message. So there are extra messages within that song, those song lyrics that applies to your next chapter. Amazing. Amazing. I'm so excited. I loved your reading. Good luck, group one. I just had to tell you that information. Bye. All right, group two. Hi, and welcome to your reading. You have done the healing work. So congratulations doing that work let's find out what your next chapter is all about group one what is happening with them that come out fast group one group one whoa if you guys were drawn to group one and go and watch group one because i obviously that's for somebody who's drawn to between group one and two yep, i apologize let's start again group two what is happening next for group two Okay, group two. What's next in your chapter, group two? Oh, group two. What is next? Okay, group two. Nice. I'm just going to get one more. Okay, you get two more. Nice, thank you. Bottom of the deck is Six of Cups. Some of you are trying to want love. Try, are trying to want love. Some of you are trying to manifest love in. Some of you want love in. Um, you want a beautiful emotional connection. Some of you, this could be with someone from the past. You're missing dearly. You're trying to manifest them back in. Um, and you're trying to make it happen really fast. Um, Six of Cups is all about soulmates missing someone from the past, past connections, building a life with someone and really like, you know, wanting or if you're not missing from someone from the past, it could be simply wanting a beautiful soul connection and you're really trying to call that in at the moment and manifest that to come in. But your story for your life after your healing journey is stability. You want a stable um, life. You want a beautiful, balanced love connection. And the Knight of Coins is all about bringing this energy in, but is the slowest moving energy in the tarot deck. So you will be getting stability, but it is going to happen slower than you would like, okay? The Hierophant talks about guidance and wanting commitment. So it is talking about, again, seeking guidance. Um, I think some of you may already be involved in a relationship at the moment and it's not fulfilling you. And you are trying to seek guidance about how to break free of this connection because you don't want to hurt anybody. I feel like you are kind of fond of this person that you're with still, but they're just not doing it for you. They're just not exciting you anymore. Maybe they don't want the same things as you do in the future. And you are going to break their heart. Maybe they're just into you more than you're into them. Whatever it is, you're wanting commitment of a different kind. Some of you just may be wanting to focus on yourselves as well and your money and your career and advance your life as well. But there is a strong indicator of a mix of finances and emotions here. So I think for some of you, 
it's about money and for some of you it's definitely about love okay but whatever it is now this may not even be love this is talking about it could be talking about you've got to leave a job to go and get in order you've got to leave one job in order to get your dream job you've been offered or go and find and follow your heart's purpose your soul's purpose and actually do the career you want to do but it's breaking your heart in the process or breaking someone else's heart in the process because you have to endure this loss in order to move on to your next chapter in life but that's okay um this reading was supposed to be about your journey after you have healed but there are different stages of healing and clearly you've come a long way yes but you still have a bit more healing and a little bit more work to do before your next chapter takes place and that's completely fine you are very loving and compassionate very feminine so if you're masculine your feminine um energy is coming through strong you're nurturing, you're kind, you're beautiful, you're loving and you're in a good place within your life and you know what you want. So you're ready to open yourself up to another situation or commitment, whatever the situation may be, okay? But you know what you want and I don't think you're living your truth at the moment so you're really trying to manifest your next chapter to come in. Once you make up your mind though and once you actually go through this heartbreak or this loss, watch your world transform. Eight of Spears is all about fast fast moving action messages coming in fast life changing circumstances fast excel um speeding you into your next chapter so you have to yes you have to endure this heartbreak in order to get to your next chapter but once you do and once you make up your mind to do that and once you um, actually go through this loss and um get on your right path everything will just start falling into place and start falling into place at a rapid speed wow queen of coins so queen of pentacles you got two queens so you're very feminine a lot of you very feminine energy shining through you got queen of cups and queen of coins so queen of pentacles very nurturing very loving very practical and you will take a practical approach to this situation i feel like you're sick of appeasing others and it's making you miserable in the process so you're just in a place now where you're going to want to concentrate on yourself and where you want to go in life and the kind of people and situations you want in your life. So you're going to take a practical approach and cut out that that no longer serves you. But it will ultimately lead to your Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Ten Pentacles is abundance in um, every aspect of your life. Um, it is abundance in work, finances especially, um, career, fulfillment. I don't think it's your Ten of Cups to say because you still have maybe a love match that is still coming in. But... In every other aspect of your life, you're going to be totally fulfilled. So that is something to really look forward to, group number two. Total fulfillment within your work um, and financial lives, which is really amazing. Let's continue your story with your oracle cards. Group two, next chapter. Yes, currently at a crossroads. You're transitioning from one phase of life to another. As I said, you have got a little bit of work to still do before you finally get on the right path. But once you decide to take control of your life and put, take your life in your own hands, everything will just change really fast and it'll click into place. And it'll just be like bam, 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 bam. The sequence and the flow of events will be instantaneous. Group two. What can we tell them? Oh, yes, snake. You have to cut out this toxic situation that is currently within your life. It is holding you back from your true path. It is holding you back from the future you need to have and the path that you're meant to be on. You guys obviously know what this situation or person is that you need to cut out, but you have to be strong enough because you are being symbolized as that little rodent there. I'm sorry if I called you a rodent. I think that's a squirrel squirrel you are that squirrel that just wants to be eaten up by that snake and controlled by that snake okay so you really got to overcome this snake and cut them out before you can move on to your true path in life okay i don't like that snake i don't like him at all yes you are going to do it though you are going to take control cut that snake out you're going to run over that snake and kill it with your horse's hoof and ride into your future and onto the true path you're meant to be on. 
Yes, I love the positive turnaround of this reading. Okay, yes, for some of you, it is a gentleman you need to cut out or someone who has masculine energy because they are just dangerous and they are not for you and they have shown up twice now, so it is very um, troubling to you in your current situation and you really need to cut them out in order to transition into your next phase and onto your true path, okay? There's still a little bit, a little bit of work to do. Could be a dangerous situation, so please do it carefully and take the um, measures of protection that are available to you, whether it be a trusted friend, family member, um, police, whoever it is, protection order, whatever it is, okay? Because at the end of the day, you have to look after your own... Um, beautiful body um for some of you this there will be a lot of feminines watching this um reading and you're being shown as being run down um exhausted emotionally i don't even think some of you physically and emotionally but emotionally run down you're very empathetic naturally um very kind and loving and birds could have an impact in your daily life okay um, but definitely showing up as exhausted and drained and a need to cut this situation and person or person out of your lives in order to get on your true path in life that you need to be on. Let's see what else we can tell you about your next chapter. Chapter after healing. Flow. Yes. Once you do this, once you decide to take control of your life and no longer pour energy into this situation that is not this toxic situation that is no longer serving you your life will start flowing in the right direction you're wanting your life to flow like a beautiful stream in the right direction it's supposed to be in it's just not happening yet but it will happen soon you just have to take control of your own life and destiny okay yes and at the moment you don't trust yourself you don't feel strong enough to do this you have to really Heal that part inside of you that doesn't think they're strong enough to get rid of this toxic situation, okay? You do have the strength to do it. You are on the wrong path, but you can get right on the right path. You just need to trust your being. Your intuition is screaming at you. I mean, you might even feel physically sick when you're around this person or in this environment. Your body will tell you and react when it's um, a not a good situation for you to be in, okay? Trust yourself. Turn this trust card around. And really start trusting in your own being. Because you can do it. Once you do do it, look at the beautiful blessings that are waiting to come in. Beautiful serenity, serene times, being on the right path. Blessings galore. You just need to start trusting within your own being. Joy and delight. I said birds are very, very, you know, you might even own birds. Or live in a place where you feed the birds or see birds a lot, okay? So you've got joy and delight and they're depicted by little birds. There is birds. Birds might even be, if you see a specific type of bird constantly um, within your daily life, it is a message from your spirit guides trying to convey something to you, okay? So look up the breed of the bird or just look up the spiritual meaning of birds. Because birds play, they've shown up in the three of your readings now. Three of your cards. Very important animal here for you, a symbolism for you from your guides. But you've got joy and blessings coming out. Um, important messages to look forward to once you go through this cycle of change. You're not forgiving yourself or you're not um, letting go of people that have hurt you in the past. Forgiveness is turned upside down, okay? So you've still got some healing work to do. You've still got to cut out those toxic ties. You really need to... Forgive them, even if you don't want to talk to them anymore. You can forgive them energetically anyway, because remember, energy is everything. It is time. It is things we do. It is things we think. So people don't have to be present for you to actually forgive them. You can forgive them on your own accord and then ask the universe to take that energy away and try and heal that energy and take it out of your life. You can do it on your own accord, okay? So I'm hoping I'm helping you with things you still need to work on and heal. But you have so many blessings coming in. Um, and they're not um, saying exactly what they are. It's very vague as to what blessings and delight are coming in. But once you get on the right path, it is going to be a beautiful blessed time and you will delight in it. So we don't have specifics in what is coming in. 
but um, we did with your tarot, it was finance. Some of you are very career focused. You just want to become financially stable and you will come from, become financially stable because you finished a reading with the Ten of Cups, Ten of Coins. So that will happen. You've just got a bit to go through before that can happen, okay? Take some time and breathe. Relax. You are getting very overwhelmed and stressed through this situation. It um, is taking its toll on you at times. It is very overwhelming. So just try and breathe. Even do a 30-second breath exercise. Try and bring your energy back to the present moment. And remember what... Um, path you're meant to be on, what the bigger picture is, what the outcome of your life is meant to be, the true path you want to be on. Remember that, trust within yourself, forgive, let go, and know you can go the distance. Well, <laughs> that just came out. Go the distance. You can win. You will take control of your life. It will happen. You will be successful. These are the words you need to be saying to yourself. I will. I will go the distance. I will cut out the negative situations. I will cut out the negative um, toxic cycles within this my life. I will take control. Really reaffirm um, the positive affirmations within your life and within your own being and become a better, be, place yourself in a better mental clarity. Um, what am I trying to say here? Retrain your brain to, with positive affirmations to, reaffirm that you can do it and you will do it and by you know giving yourself a pep talk and changing the way you think and the things um, that are coming out of your mouth it'll be giving you the courage to the extra courage and boost to want to do these things and change your life because you don't have peace at the moment your peace is turned upside down maybe this is what you're striving for in the pit in the future just to have a peaceful happy life okay it is not peaceful at the moment. It is overwhelming. It is toxic. You're in a cycle you don't need to be in and you're very overwhelmed as to how to take the steps forward to cut it out of your life. Spirit, this is supposed to be a reading about um, life after healing. So these people obviously have some healing work to do still. I guess that's okay. That's okay. I wanted this video to focus on the positives after healing, but that's okay. You guys obviously are a group that need to still do the healing work in order to get what you want after healing okay but it's okay you're not co-creating you're not maybe you need to talk to spirit more and open up to your guides or open up to trusted friends or family members you need help to rid this toxic situation out of your life and you don't have the own means within your own person to actually have the strength to do this on your own you need help you need help with somebody you can trust whether it be, as I said, police, a trusted friend, family member, whatever it is, you need help beyond your own measures and means to rid this cycle out of your life. So really try and know that there are people out there that will help you, that will love you, that will help you get rid of this personal situation and then you will get on your right path, okay? Yeah, you've got to feel those emotional um, avoidances within your life emotionally you're just strained and you just feel like there's not much more to go on for you're putting you're getting very depressed and gloomy and you think there's no hope okay because you're just stuck in this toxic cycle know that it will change and can change you've just got to get a hold of the strength within you talk to other people about how you can do this and when it's going to happen and really try and take control of the situation and get rid this toxic person out of your life okay all right, group two, can we please get some things about what they need to, what will happen after they have healed? It still keeps bringing me back to the healing work you need to do, okay? It's, it, yeah, it's not going to tell me much beyond what you want to know after your healing because you've got a lot of healing work to do still, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is this has actually gone a different way than what I wanted it to go, but I guess this is what you needed to know. This is what the cards wanted to tell you, so this is what we're doing. You need to know that even though you have dusty illusions that your life won't get better and you think it won't get better, know it will get better. Trust within yourself that it will get better, okay? 
Trust within your um, intuition. Listen to your intuition. It's telling you what you need to know. This is going to be just a speckle in time of your life that you're going to look back on and think, oh, wow, I went through that. Yeah, it was hard at the time, but I got through it. Look, at, look how strong I am now. You will get through this. No, you will get through it. Um, and Spirit's trying to really just remind you that, yes, it's toxic. Yes, it's horrible. Yes, you've got more work to do, but you will get through it in time, okay? And with help. You really need to ground your energy, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed. Um, always try and ground your energy and bring it back to the present moment. Try not to overthink or overstress or get overwhelmed. Always try and calm yourself with your breath work and bring yourself back to the present moment and to not let your emotions get the better of you. You are very tempted just to stay stuck in a toxic cycle you're in because Maybe it's benefiting you in one way or the other, but you know it's not your truth. You know it's not good for you. You know it's not um, the path you're meant to be on. Might not even be a person. Might be um, substances abuse. Might be overspending. Might be something simple as um, eating the wrong food. Whatever it is, it is stopping you from moving on to your true path and your, the path you're meant to be on and the true life you're meant to be living. So you need to cut it out. Stop the temptation. You need to nurture yourself, rest and relaxation. You need, you've got the Queen of Pentacles card. You have the resources and the practical skills to be able to heal and um, rest and transform your life. Some of you are weak at the moment, so you need that extra bit of support and strength. Maybe it's just as simple as um, asking your friends to you know, support you through the time you're going through. Whatever it is, you just need a bit of encouragement to... Know that you're not alone and to know that you can get better and you will transform your life. So your spirits are a bit down at the moment. That's okay. Believe in yourself, number one. Ground your energy. Bring your energy back to the present moment through your breath work. And really know that you can change your life by defeating this toxic cycle or person, okay? Or situation. Wow, good. Now we're getting somewhere. Self-love. Beautiful. Now we're getting somewhere. You are going to decide to start new and get on this new path and take control of your life. And it will be winning. You will win at your new cycle. You will pour the self-love into your own being. And it's going to be a time of celebration. Look at that transformation. Starting new. Pouring the self-love into yourself. Winning. Transforming your life and a time for celebration. Wow, huge, huge, huge transformation and turnaround group too. I'm glad we finally got there in the end. It took a bit of time and I wanted it to be like that from the beginning, but you needed to hear obviously this message because you still have some work, a lot of work you need to do during your healing process, okay? Group two, what else can we tell them? Clear thinking, yes, you need to get good mental clarity and start thinking clearly with your head over your heart and take control of your life and, and put boundaries in place and um, conditions in place so you can um, change your world completely. For some of you, a new soulmate is coming in. It may even be a new soulmate in the form of a friendship or new friendship or relationship, whatever it is. For some of you, I don't think for all of you, for some of you, a new soulmate connection is coming in. You are limiting yourself by um, living in the doubt and don't think you're strong enough to do it, not thinking you're strong enough to do this. When you are strong enough to do this, you will take control. Remember these positive cards that came out. Winning, self-love, celebration. Focus on the good, okay? Again, indicating a new romance is coming for you. But I feel like that is only a few of you because some of you aren't not wanting love at this stage in your life. For some of you, it's a turnaround in your just physical life. For some of you, it's romance. For some of you, it's career and finances, okay? It is different for different people within this group. Because you're looking at your life from a negative aspect all the time. You go back to the negative and focus on the negative, okay? You've really got to turn your um, thought patterns around and really focus on the positive and try and turn those, um, retrain your brain to think positively and not live in the negatively. Because bliss is coming. Your happily um, ever after is coming. In what form it is coming, I'm not sure. It's different for each person within this group. But bliss is coming, okay? Group two, let's get your final message with a divine door. 
you guys got? Oh, you got two. You're needing extra messages. You got a star door. So hoping for a wanting, hoping and wanting for a better change in life. Star, star in the tarot is um, hope and the universe listening and hearing to your prayers. And you also got like a gated, beautiful vintage door as well. So let's read them. Your blue door is the art of light. There's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible light. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. Really telling you to stop living in the shadows and start remembering the person you are and the place you want to go in life and the life you want to have, okay? You need to start focusing on the good and working towards the good and your goals and the life you and life you want to live and start cutting the negative out in order to start achieving this life, okay? Or working your way towards achieving this life. And your beautiful vintage door is morning memory. Its helping gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn, our inspired source. Meditate under the sun. Again, being called to go outside and ground your nature and get in touch with your um, own being, your own thought pattern. You know, clear thinking is what's needed. Get outside, ground your energy. And really get in touch with your true, your true self. What's your truth? How do you achieve your truth? How do you make yourself happy? A lot of healing is still needed to be done. And I didn't want to focus on that. But that is okay because you needed to hear this message about you need to do more healing in order to bring these changes and these positive changes into your life. Um, so you have got good things coming that will happen after you complete your healing cycle. But remember, healing, your healing cycle is never, ever complete. Every day you're healing and learning and growing as a human being. Um, so don't think just because you didn't get an amazing message and your, your healing journey is at a different stage to other groups. It does not matter because this is where you're at with your healing journey. You, I hope I've been clear enough in the work you still need to do. Um, and I hope you can apply these changes and work towards your um, truth, okay? Group two, I hope you enjoyed your message. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Group three, hi and welcome to your reading about what is next after you've healed yourself, okay? What chapter is coming next now that you've gone through this intense healing cycle? Let's find out what's next for you. Beautiful opening, strong. Nice. Group three, what else is coming for you? What is your next chapter? You guys are very, very strong. Very strong individuals indeed. You have been through the ringer, but you are very strong. Wow. You are like, you got nine of coins, ace of swords, the hierophant, the empress, queen of coins. That is such strong feminine energy here. You are badass leaders, okay? Page of cups, bottom of the deck. Um, I call this my, I called pages my infancy cards. Pages are, um, so beginning stages, again, it's after the ace of cups, so it's the beginning stage. So you've actually started or tiptoed into your next chapter, but it has just begun, okay? So if this is a romance for some of you, because the fish is being offered from the cup, so it is love for some of you, just know that it's at its beginning stage and it's getting to know you. So take your time and really um, enjoy this time that's coming in, okay? Opening up strong with the nine of coins. Um, independence, beautiful, tranquil times in your life. I feel like you have gone through the healing stage, which is what we have called for in this reading. So we didn't want to bother with the, how do I need to heal anymore? We wanted to bother with the, what's happening after the healing's taken place, okay? And you have done the work. You have um, got through the hardships you needed to get through. And now it's acknowledging, because you're opening, acknowledging the hard work that you've done, because we're opening strong with your independence, you're standing there with your money, with your finances, um, with your pets, with your home, in your garden, taking control of your life, and it is just the beautiful energy that you're currently in. I feel like you took control of your life yourself, 
and you, you took the new beginning and you made these new beginnings happen for yourself. Um, you opened with the Ace of Swords and you just cut out everybody that wasn't serving you anymore with this sword, okay? You just cut them away. I just thought you just, it's like a light bulb moment. One day you were living one life and the next, the next day you're just like, nah, I want to change. I want a new beginning. I want a new chapter and I want um, to go on a different path. So you got clarity over a situation and change did come in. And this is change that you've manifested and you brought about yourself uh, and you brought on yourself. So well done for you for being strong enough to take control of your life and bring the changes you wanted to bring in. Some of you do want commitment. Um, the Hierophant is all about commitment and wanting commitment and life for somebody. He is also about guidance and seeking advice and um, you know talking to anyone. It could be a trusted friend, a counsellor, even from a tarot reading. You sought advice before you made the decision to change your life. It was a hard decision. It wasn't easy to do because change is hard no matter what um, it is, good or bad. Change is always hard, but you did take the advice. It shows your caring soft side that you did um, seek advice before you made these changes within your life. And um, it still was hard for you, but you're strong enough to get through it and rely on your own self to get yourself through it. And look how strong you are. Again, taking control, leading your ships, taking, um, you know, reign of the heel of the the wheel of the ship and sailing your ship in the direction and taking control of your life in the direction that it wants to it is supposed to be in you are a force to be reckoned with as i said you got so many strong cards you are a badass leader okay no one would mess with you because no one can fuck with your happy no one can fuck with your happy you are on your own path for some of you, you are just going to concentrate on yourself, Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're very practical and nurturing and loving and giving and kind. But you have put boundaries in place and you will not let anyone take um, advantage of your kindness. And you will take a practical approach to the future you want to set up for yourselves. Some of you, this is starting a new business. Some of you, this is finding new love. Some, Whatever the venture is. You are in control of your destiny and you will take a practical approach to it. Strong ass ladies or males here. Very, very strong feminine energy there. Okay, let's continue your story with your oracle cards. What else can we tell group three in regards to what's next? The moon. Yes, getting clarity, getting your eyes wide open, taking control of your life and galloping away from those um, people and situations that no longer serve you. Yes, riding towards, again, just like the Empress, taking control of the reins, taking control of your ship, going in the direction your life needs to go in, taking control, you are in, in control. A lot about control here, maybe in the past you hadn't had control. And you had to go through a lot of growth in order to get to the place that you're in now. But yeah, a lot about control. Cutting out those people and situations that no longer serve you. I feel like now you are the snake. You are not the squirrel. You are in group two. They got this card, but they were the squirrel and the snake was controlling them. This is you. You are the snake now. Anyone that comes across you and crosses your um, path and fucks with your energy or your time and they're not wanted, you will bite them out and you will kill them with one bite. That's what I mean. You're so strong now that anybody that fucks with you will just be dead, dead to you. And I know that sounds harsh, but this is the hard work you've put into your life and this is the place you're at now. So people or situations that, <laughs> wow, no longer serve, you've got to go and look scythe. For those of you that don't know what a scythe is, it's what they what farmers cut hay with. I'm sure it's used for much more than that, but that's the description I know of it. So you're going to cut out those people that fuck with your time and energy. No more. No more. I'm surprised you didn't get Queen of Swords in your reading because you've got Queen of Swords vibes, but I think you're a lot more um, emotionally fulfilled than the Queen of Swords. That's why she didn't come out. 
but you are going to get news in the form of um, a letter maybe or I know they don't have letters anymore but you know social media message text message phone call you will be receiving a message um, in the future about these changes and maybe even future future changes that are going to be taking place within your life let's see I just want to pull one more card can we clarify what these messages will be about what will this message be about oh it says you already know it is an answer you're waiting for you already know what this is about you have the key um, to your happiness and future and you know what to do you're just waiting on news of how to transform this and like waiting for an answer to be yes or no so for example if you're waiting to get a new house you've applied for it um, you put the you know references in whatever it is and you're just waiting to hear back on whether you get the house or not or whether you can move into your next chapter okay so you already know what this is about, you're just waiting for the answer and you have the key and the knowledge already to know what the situation is about and what's going to happen within your life. I think it will be a yes, I think it will be positive news, but yeah, it's just saying you already know, you already know. Let's find out some more for your story. Enlightenment, yes, moving in and sailing towards your next chapter and you're going to be very enlightened some of you may be starting a new career in the um, light worker or empath or spirituality field but you're going to be very enlightened very energetic very tranquil and just very happy with your next chapter in life solitude reversed some of you don't feel like it's happening right now maybe some of you are get getting very impatient about it happening but you know just hang in there you are waiting for this answer to come in and it is regarding your solitude and your you know maybe the place you need to be in to start your next chapter but it hasn't started yet because you're still waiting for the go ahead from this message or, or you're waiting for the answer from this person to come in about um, receiving the place you need to live or the um, business you need to open or you know it might be as simple as getting an answer from the person you asked out, whatever it is. With your solitude, it's making you very anxious, not knowing. Um, but just know you're going to get a message soon about regarding the situation and it, I think it will be a positive one. Again, living in the void, living in the not knowing, is you're not, you're not liking it because voyage is re reversed. You're not liking the not knowing. It's making you very anxious and very upset and causing a bit of anxiety within your own being okay just remember the beautiful strong person you are you open with such strong energy so don't let that doubt and fear and, and anxiety overtake your life okay yes just let your life flow let it go where it's supposed to go it is going in a good direction remember the hard work you've already done and celebrations will be had i think celebrations will be coming in very soon Let's um, get you some more oracle cards and continue your story. No place like home. That is what I said. Some of you are physically just wanting to move and you put the application in and you're just wanting to set up a new home. Maybe you've left a relationship and now you're living with your parents or something and you're just waiting for your new chapter to start and you love home. Your home is your castle and you're acknowledging you just want to hurry the process up and start your new journey in your new home you're just waiting for the go ahead so it, it's an indication that it is a home for a lot of you a new home okay beautiful what else can we tell group three yes impatient tick tock wanting the clock to hurry up and just move on and to speed things up because the not knowing is really eating at you okay just remember ground your energy it will happen in time you will be in the home you're meant to be in Trust the process, let it flow. Take poised action in your life, okay? But celebrations will be had, a time to celebrate. I call this fairy the fairy that's dancing among the stars. So celebration will be coming, good times will be coming. Allow your life to flow in the direction it's meant to be in, okay? To be fair, yes. Be fair to yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself. Nurture yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed. Do something you like. Like whatever excites your soul, do that. 
you're being called to be fair to yourself to really nourish your um, body when it's needing attention or feeling anxious and really acknowledging your feelings and try and address them and do something and take do something you enjoy and take that um, energy away by doing something you love okay yes you're at a fork in the road look you're waiting to move forward you're just waiting for the go ahead to do it you've done the, so much so far on your own and you're just waiting for the go ahead to make your chapter complete wow such a cool story group three for some of you it is a home let's let's find out what you need to know yes into the wild get into nature get grounded ground your energy nurture your body when you're feeling overwhelmed Take a right pol your oh, can't talk. Take a polarized look at your life. Freeze it. Pause it. Live in the now. Ground your energy. Know your future is going to be amazing because it is one you have created yourself and taken control of. What else do group three need to know? Yes, again, it's like fork in the road, standing in the road waiting to move forward some of you are going to use the moon power to release your past and bring in the future you want to bring in i'm going to get one more for you these guys are just waiting for the go ahead waiting for the yep it's yours you can move forward you are ready magical times hang on we'll get to forbidden fruit first so some of you are just, again, living in the, it's not going to happen, in a negative. Remember, whatever we think becomes our reality. Our manifest, our thoughts become our manifestations, okay? You really need to get cut yourself out of the negative thinking and really bring your energy back to the present moment and focus on the now. Magical times will be had. Your future is going to be amazing. Focus on that, okay? Try to focus on that. Manifesting. What are you manifesting? Spiritual growth. As I said, some of you may be working in a spiritual field. It really came through strong. And you're going through a time, a spiritual awakening as well. And you're very overwhelmed because you don't understand it. Spiritual awakenings are a time of confusion because the universe is wanting you to awaken and see the world for what it truly is. And just understand that you're going to cry for very emotional and not understand why things are changing so rapidly within your life. It is just the universe waking you up and wanting you to see life for what it truly is, okay? Just trust the process, let it flow, and um, know that it's going to be for your own highest purpose. It is something you need to go through in order to awaken and it is the path you're meant to be on, okay? It is your true calling. It is your true path. You have a lot of goals you, you want to um, complete and complete within your human life. And you will start um, completing these goals. And health is important to some of you as well. So you will start taking care of your physical health as well. All right, let's get your final card with your divine doors guidance. You got a beautiful, again, nature. You're being called to get out in nature. A lot of you are. Go on adventures, go on walks, discover what is around you in nature. Three of cups, a toast of friendship in the afternoon sun. Three, three cups in happiness, three cheers to be done. See, celebrations will be there for you soon. Enjoy the times that are coming up for you. Know that the answer is coming very soon and your life will start to transform, okay? Group three, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Bye.